know that I had to make a special trip for last year when Kenny had a real bad sore throat with some throat lozenges. I had plenty of cough drops, but they weren't easy this time. Mommy was here, you, she'd be exercising her mouth. I did find two new cereals for Eli. I found the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chocolate Churros, 11.9 ounces, they're by General Mills. And I know the girls like chocolate, so I'm sure they'll like it, especially since it turns their milk chocolate. I thought with this even, I might crumble up some when I eat my vanilla yogurt sometimes. So I bought one box of those. And who can turn down the minions? Vanilla Bob by General Mills. Sweeted, sweetened corn cereal with marshmallows. I know the girls can't turn down marshmallows. Neither can Eli. And it sounds like it'd even be something I would eat. Because anybody loves Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles would probably like this. But it was a complete large box of uh, cereal of the Minions. Got that. Kind of getting long, aren't I? Let me see here. I think I'm going to do... I found it. This is the other box of the apple crisp. I remember that looking new to me, but I know it's been out because I've seen people show it. And I'm thinking there might be another box or two is the Cheetos Mac and Cheese. I got one of the Bogan and Cheesy cause Eli loves Cheetos. We love Cheetos. And I figured that would be really good. This is something Eli would definitely eat. 5.9 ounces. But Cheetos, mac and cheese, bone and cheesy. Okay. Cheetos, mac and cheese. Cheesy jalapeno. Anybody watch my meatloaf video? Do you think Kenny's going to eat this? 5.7 ounces, but it's Cheetos mac and cheese, cheesy jalapeno. I will, my mama will, class if he's still here will, we'll eat this. Got one of those. Like I said, I think I got more. They might be in this bag. How's everybody been doing? I've just been kind of piddle paddling, muddling alone. I almost talked myself out of sitting here and I thought, no, what if I nap mess up my hair and I have to start all over again? Y'all have seen it in enough sh bad shape as it is. Let me see. Oh, I got another boat and cheesy. I thought I might have because I knew that would be the one that I could use for Penny and Eli too, boat and cheesy. Cheetos, mac and cheese, flaming hot. Flaming hot. Again. Not for Kenny and Elon, but for me, um, me, Klaus, whoever's here that likes spicy, I'll make some of these up because I think I'll like those. I can't remember. This is part of my memory issue. and Even with the decluttering, I'm trying to remember if I had some light brown brown sugar. And I know there are several things I was looking at that might need it. They had the Domino's since 1901, premium pure cane, light brown sugar, 16 ounces for a dollar. So I thought better be safe than, safer than sorry because uh, who knows, I might need it. And then I'm thinking, oh, I should have got it. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. It's not going to go bad. Put it in the pantry. And if you can remember where it's at, you'll have it. These are, let me see here, 
Yeah, I'm going to show you some items that I hadn't planned on getting. That's what I'm going to do. Go Toe Socks, established 1935. $8 pair of socks. You may say, Angie, I know you piled a thousand socks. Only some of them were mine. All these are, even though these are men's socks, or I'm assuming they're men's socks, they were in the men's section. I got them for me. I doubt Kenny will wear them. And why? They were the vintage collection. The vintage collection. So I got this pair, and I'm sorry, I don't know if it's gonna show or not. I'm trying to get it to where it might show the design a little bit. Can you see if I do that? But that was, it's in a, like a, it has almost like a teal on top and like a navy chevron pattern. It's called Tweed called Tweed. Got a pair of those. Well, I'm going to get one pair. And they're odor control, too, which for my feet, I don't have to really worry about it. Go Tone. And it's called Madras. Madras. M-A-D-R-A-S. And it's like in a gray, blue, tan, I got me those vintage collection. They had uh, more go tone socks probably in different ones. I stuck because I'm trying to not overdo. I actually stuck to the vintage collection on them because to me that's what was special to me. I'll definitely wear them. This vintage collection one is called Hound's Tooth. And I know anybody in my age group knows what houndstooth is. And it's in, looks like blues and black. I don't know if you can see it there. Can you see it? I know they're men's socks, but I like wearing long dresses in the wintertime. Um, you'll see me in my sandals a lot. I want, I think I've got some that I can kind of match these up with and it won't look too dorky. Or I can wear them with my boots, I believe. These, I haven't seen before. They're called Performance Dress tac Tactile, Soft and Lightweight for Premium Fit. Has lycra in it. They're the Peds Ladies, Indulge Your Feet. I liked it because it said Queen Shoe Size 8 to 12. I don't, I wear 9 but a lot of times I can't get the socks that say up to nine because they're really too short. They're not comfortable if my feet swell and all that. So with it saying queen shoe size, eight to 12, and they're in black and there's two pair, I got them. Again, a great fit for my sandals in the wintertime if I'm wearing sandals or even with other shoes or boots because they're a thinner sock. But I've never seen the queen's, the queen's shoe size before, 8 to 12. That's why I like buying men's for my feet. And I was going to tell you, all the go-tone socks, oh, go-toe socks were regular $8. So this is $24 worth of socks in my hand. And there's just three pair, $24. And I'm thinking that probably paid for at least half of what I got by saving on that. And I don't know how much pads are because I never buy them. I'm pretty sure Walmart and places have them. But I've never, I never buy them from there. If I get them, it's usually at the Dollar Tree. What else did I get? I think I've seen this before in a haul, but I've not seen it for me. It's called Berry Bliss. It's a shampoo bar, moisturizing formula with olive oil and coconut oil, 1.76 ounces. Says it's going to last up to 50 washes, and it includes a travel tin. A sh shampoo bar. I have never, ever, ever used a shampoo bar. I haven't. Let me s I'm going to get it out to smell it. Well... I can actually smell it. 
I can actually smell it through the wrapping. It smells really good. Body and earth. And that's the little, yeah, it's gonna hold, I didn't know if it's gonna hold down, but it does. That's the little travel tin. Let me see, body and earth. And I'm sure that's not a Greenbrier product. Distributed by Body and Earth at a King of Prussia, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, I guess. And it's not tested on animals. Oh, it's made in China. It's made in China. Or I don't know if I'll love it or if it's just the tin, but it says made in China. I hauled a couple of potted meat cans the other day because I want to make sure when Omi comes back we have potted meat because they're all this decluttering unless it's in a hideout corner somewhere. I know I stopped piling some potted meat because I love potted meat sandwiches with really soft bread. Unfortunately, the Dollar Tree did not have that really soft bread I like today. I mean, not today. I'm doing the film today. I think it was yes day before yesterday. So I went ahead and got another can because... For a dollar, it's a 5.5 ounce can armor. I'm sure Omi and I can eat that up. Doubt Eli will, no Kenny won't. I, you would think Kenny of all people would, but he didn't. One thing I seen that I know that I had to make a special trip for last year when Kenny had a real bad sore throat with some throat lozenges. I had plenty of cough drops, but they weren't easing his throat. Well, a couple of days ago, they had cough relief, menthol flavor. And I'm think, I was thinking they said sore throat, relief sore throat. This one just says it's a menthol cough relief. But I think the menthol helped the throat. But on the sign, and I did a video, a short video of a walkthrough. So maybe I showed it in there. Maybe it'll show the sign. But if my memory serves me right, I got it because it was for sore throat too. Let me see. Yeah, it's for sore throat too. But I got two menthol. Yeah, two menthol. Confused me there for a minute because I told Kenny when I got back in the car because he was out in the car. I said I got it for sore throat. I got two menthol and there's 20 in each one. And I got one in cherry for Eli because I know he won't do the menthol. But he does do cherry things. So do the cherry. And at checkout, Omi. I picked Omi on these. They're Trident Splash, strawberry with lime. 15 pieces. Love these. Have a refreshing taste. If I'm thirsty for water and I've got one of these in my mouth, I'm drinking water. It's just a, it's just a soothing taste and helps me get my water down easier. But I only had about two packs of them because you can't always find them. They had, I think, a couple other flavors. I think spearmint, maybe uh, spearmint and... Man, I don't remember. It seemed like two flavors, but I wanted that one because that's the one I like. I keep feeling something in my lap and I look down. It's called Beer Nuts. Regional Peanuts. A unique sweet and salty taste. Four ounces for a dollar. They look like the peanuts that come out of the Cracker Jack. And I don't know if y'all remember a while back, probably months ago, they had the big bag of Cracker Jacks. Do y'all remember them? Of course, the peanuts would always fall all the way to the bottom. Well, in my decluttering, I found a bag, and we've been finishing that one off. Uh, I love caramel, popcorn, and peanuts. So this is what I think this is going to taste like. And I figured it, nothing else. Eli and I can make a mix of better popcorn, peanuts, M&Ms for our movie night. What I was interested in when I turned around and looked at the back, on total sugars, it says less than one gram. So I'm not quite sure where the salt and sugary, sweet and salty come in at because 
course, we know it's going to have more fat. 13% of your daily value, 10 grams. Uh, only 5% of the sodium, so that's not too bad. And no cholesterol if you're watching your cholesterol. And 7 grams of protein. That's one thing I like about peanuts, the protein. Eli reminds me of that. When he's